Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class online again. Uh, well, due to the fact that school closures are taking longer, we have to spend more time on the online working and trying to do a cooperative uh, work. Well, uh, first of all, I received loads of writing compositions, articles, emails, whatever. Um, very important, please send them by, uh, by using Word or PDF format. Otherwise, I have to uh, do extra work. And please, I really uh, ask you to do it in that way. Uh, apart from that, uh, you have groups of course apps. Then I would like you to rearrange for these Wednesdays. Okay, this Wednesday, uh, there won't be video class. Then I would like to spend an hour uh, with speaking skill. In what way? You can arrange, for example, groups. Mm, four people. Six people, maybe it's... There are too many people, but maybe six people and a, a kind of timetable, mm, half an hour each, each pair. Yeah, half an hour each pair this week and the following one. I don't know. Maybe you know better than me the way of doing that. Then, um, then tomorrow you can talk about that and tomorrow you can give me ideas and we can rearrange this. Hmm? Right. Apart from that, today uh, I would like to spend the class by correcting and explaining first and second conditional because it's a very important grammatical point. Uh, but before I'm going to deal with the writing, I would like you to put into practice and send me, but please not this week. Um, it's going to be the week of the 12th of, okay, I think it's April, well, in two weeks time, because I need you to uh, learn by heart all the vocabulary related to environment, learn it, uh, very important structures. And when you have done that, it's the way you can do the writing in the best way. Then uh, I'm going to start now explaining what kind of writing do you have to do. And after that, we'll move on the correction. Well, I'm going to send, I don't remember the page. Okay, I'm going to check now. Yeah, here it is. I'm going to show you. Well, I'm going to show you it here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One here it is. Well, I'm going to check and I think it's going to be uh, here it is. Well, if we are in the same writing, it's the same page we were dealing with our environment last class, last week. And if you focus, it had to do with the speaking regarding uh, environmental issues. Um, there was a picture I sent you, and the writing is writing part three. I'm going to check. Okay, it's unit number 11. Then uh, please, everybody, go on page number 89. It's writing part three, and it says read the task. 889, please. Okay, read the task and Elena's answer below, ignoring any mistakes because after that we have to correct hmm, the mistakes for you to focus what kind of mistakes you are not allowed to do in the exam. What environmental issue does Elena write about and what does she do to her? This could be the kind of task, as you know, uh, the new exam format. Um, in that new some format, you don't have to write a letter, you have to write an email, but it's so similar, it's informal email, then uh, this could be good for you. Then this is part of a letter you receive from an English friend. We are doing the project on the environmental school. What are the environmental problems in your country? Have you ever done anything to help? What? Now write an email. 
answering to your friends' questions. Write about 100 words. Well, this is a task that you have in the, the, in the email, in, the, in your writing. This information is the one that has to appear. Then, what are the environmental problems in your country? And have you ever done anything to help them? We need all the vocabulary regarding environmental problems, environmental issues, and what can we do to protect the environment? Yeah. Um, have a look at the writing and let's go thinking or let's go underlying the mistakes you um, you can see or can notice in the, in the letter. I'm going to start reading and please, at the same time I'm reading it aloud, let's go underlining the kind of mistakes you can say. It starts, Dear Maria, thanks for your letter. It is great to hear from you. You want to know about some of the environmental problems in your country. In my opinion, the word, it says opinion, the world thing is air pollution. There is too many cars in our cities. If people use their car less, it wouldn't be so bad. Last month, I buy a bike now it's I go to school every day. This is much better for the environment and it keeps me healthy too. By its own length. Well, before starting the correction, I would like to do with this. Always start your email by dear the name, the person and the comma. And always Thanks for your letter, because you always receive a letter. Well, you have to read it carefully. The task is normally then it was way too careful. And always revert, you have to state what do they want you to write. And you want you to know about some of the environmental problems in my country. And here, you introduce what they wanted, uh, what they wanted you to do. Then it's very good to start. Most of the mistakes I think you could uh, see are spelling mistakes and verbal tenses. Then let's go, go underlining please. And now I'm going to deal with it. Nine mistakes. Yeah? Well, here you have my nine mistakes in an answer. Dear Maria, capital letters always with a name. You want it to know this is the past simple past, regular verbs, then it was spelling mistake. In my opinion, and if they ask you to give your opinion, you could start by saying in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, I think a lot of different things of expressing your opinion. Well too many cars is plural. Too many cars, cars, it's plural. Then, it's plural. Then you have to write too many cars in plural. There are too many cars, in other ways, yeah? There are too many cars in our cities. Cities, it had spelling mistakes with the Y. And now, I hope that you did this perfectly well because it reinforces second condition. Remember, if people used, then we have simple past. If people used their car less, I wouldn't and infinitive. Then you have to do the second condition. And I think that you realized that it was second conditional and you find out um, the mistake. Now, it started saying last month, I have to think, well, I'm changing the verbal tense, I have to be accurate. Last month, I bought a bike, I have to be very, very accurate in the verbal tenses, and it keeps me healthy too. 
it was another there was another uh, spelling mistake well regarding this in the for, for Wednesday next Wednesday I was talking to you was telling you that I'd like to start our speaking uh, sessions yeah? and in this Wednesday I would like you to uh, focus on the picture you have uh, on page 88 that there were some people recycling then in the speaking I would like to describe the pictures and do this part for take turns to ask and give your opinion about um, environmental issues okay very important is what is your opinion about these environmental issues then we'll put into practice uh, two different parts well then remember you have to do this task for in two weeks time but before doing that learn by heart take into account the important vocabulary regarding environment and now what are we going to do now please take now your conditionals handout because we are going to move on the correction here you have the conditionals this is the first exercise and i highlighted in blue color the verbal tenses that regard the first conditional then you can see present simple and future with well present simple every time it is a subordinate there is a time expression yeah then it says put the verb in brackets into the correct form in these sentences using the present simple plus will and infinitive when it's a negative use won't where possible right. number one when is the time expression instead of if then when the train comes with third person singular because the train is it third person singular then when the train comes i put the luggage in first number two here i have the clue as zoom as then person simple third person singular he arrives will give him his birthday present number three we won't live until you tell us here you have the other way around it starts by using the main clause future with will and now we have to subordinate until you tell us present simple number four the film will finish before the party the party is third person singular then you need the party starts very important when i am present simple when i am on holiday in three weeks time i won't i think it's think about work at all mm -hmm. number six i'll call you after then here you have the time expressions i get the exam results let's move on number seven we'll meet him as soon as again the football match is per person singular it finishes maybe i don't know if you focused or not on the third person singular number eight after factory closes oh sorry i forgot very important coma yeah after the factory closes coma five thousand people will be employed number nine she won't give the money until you give her the car keys and then the car won't start until you switch off the light then i think it's very visual yeah you can pause now the video and take notes i think it's very visual and i think the first conditional is clear now if not remember any question any doubt send it by mail and i can uh, give you more or further explanation now the second part 
was to distinguish between word or expressions yeah and similar to the one they give you future then you have to think about using present simple or they give you imperative or present simple um the second part then you have to uh filling regarding the kind of verbal tense is missing then let's focus on a complete with a word or expression from the list and you had after what well, after was already um being used yeah as soon as before if unless until and when yeah. the example was after we have dinner we could go for a week for a drink then number one i must write the date in my diary before i forget it mm -hmm. then before is number one number two let's wait under the tree until it stops raining mm -hmm. number three this job is very urgent so please do it as soon as you can mm -hmm. um, in many companies if you are asked to do uh, to write a letter or to do a report they sign by saying as up i'm going to write it here they say well um looking forward to freedom from you and i need this uh it says okay so it says for example yes and you can say it in many companies and you could say well what's that well this is as soon as possible yeah it's abbreviation mm -hmm. as soon as possible well let's continue number four we won't get a table in the restaurant unless so if we don't book if we don't book yeah because if it was unless we need an affirmative unless means if not it could say we won't get a table in the restaurant unless we book but this is a negative then if we don't book okay number five i'll pay you back when i get my first salary hmm? the time one hmm? the next number six I can go unless plus affirmative you pay for my ticket i'm broke i have no money then i i'm underlying here remember unless is if not a menos que number seven they'll be really happy when at the moment that i'm 60 then i retired Number eight, I must renew my passport until I go to New York. No, before I go to New York. Sorry, I confused. This is before, so I said something wrong. Okay, this is before, so now, and this is until now it makes sense better isn't it okay then perfect i'm going to read it again no problem number eight i must renew my passport of course before i go to new york and now until you work harder you won't pass the final exam it's a, a kind of warning yeah until you work harder see no fins que no te vayas me esa you won't pass your final exam and now here you have the corrections for the first conditional number one don't forget to turn off the lights before you leave this kind of conditional is first conditional but it was you remember present simple and imperative mm -hmm. a command now only like number two go to bed when the film third person singular finishes very important third person singular that sometimes we forget we focus 
on present simple, but we never remember that is third person singular, the yes, yeah? Number three, they won't get married until they find a place to live. Then it was future. Number four, if I see Emma, if I see is present simple, then I need future, I will tell her, you are looking for her. Hmm? Number five, I call you as soon as, I need a present simple, I arrive at the hotel. Number six, you won't be able to park unless you get present simple there early. Number seven, as soon as it stops raining, we'll go out. Number eight, she won't like curry if she doesn't like spicy food. Remember, her person singular doesn't like. And number nine, don't write anything until I tell you. And the last one, when she finds out what he's done, she will be furious. Future with wealth. And this is the correction of the first part, the second part. And to finish with the corrections, you had all second condition. What? Well, second conditional, if you remember, the first, the subordinate, it was if and simple past, and the main clause was conditional root plus infinitive. And it was also used to express advice, to give advice, very important. If I were you, I would, then every time in a writing or speaking you are asked to give advice, please use should, shouldn't, or to, or second condition. Well, let's see. A, it was a matching. You have to match the sentence helps. In what way? You have to think. Well, if I have a simple past, I will need a, a conditional sentence. If they give me a conditional sentence, I will need a simple past. And this is the option. Number one, G. I'd enjoy the weekend more if I didn't have to work on Saturday. Two, A, if you stayed for another day, we could go shopping. It's a suggestion, yeah? We could go shopping. Three, E, would you wear it if I bought it for you? Four, B, advice, if I were you, I'd get a new job. Five, F. I wouldn't work if I didn't need the money. And the last one, six, would you come with me? D, if I went to live in China. And after matching, you have here the structure. Then, number one is the main clause, then I need to start with the conditional. We would buy the house if it didn't have a garden. Number two, if I knew his number, I would phone him. Number three, you would learn more if you worked harder. Number four, if you stayed for a week, you could see everything or you would be able to say everything. But remember, would be able to, nobody uses. It's not very common. And then we change would be able to instead of code. Mm -hmm. We use code better. Number five, we would see our son more often if he left near us. And number six, I would go to the doctors if I were you, it's advice. Hmm? Then another use and important one. 
and to finish with the correction and only to focus on this one because now you can pause you could pause the video and you can take notes to uh, find out if you had it corrected or not but I'm going to deal with B because for me it's very important you cannot mix them up now there are some mixed conditionals but you have to be aware of the structure then exercise B is one of the most important in my opinion because here you should decide if it's a first or a second conditional in what way I have to uh, focus on the sentence they give me to me for example if you tell her anything then if I'm present simple it's first conditional I need to fill in with the future she'll tell everybody in the office the second example with half a dog would have a second conditional then I need simple past if we had a garden well, let's start. One, it'll be quicker. It'll, future, is first conditional. I need present simple. If we get a taxi to the airport, very important. Number two, if you stopped smoking, stopped, is simple past, second conditional, I need boot. Then you boot feel better. Number three, what will you do? Second conditional, if you lost your job. Hmm? Number four, it starts. Number four, I think it's if you buy, sorry, I put it. If you buy, it's present simple. I'm going to change it now. Then very good it's first conditional i will cook yeah first conditional now very good number four hmm? if you buy the food by person simple i will cook tonight very good then it's present simple and future with well very good number five i think he'd be happier boot plus infinitive if he didn't live alone didn't live is it's simple past second condition yeah. number six i'll be very surprised future with will if marina marina doesn't get the job in moscow then doesn't get present simple Third person singular. Number seven, where will he live if he gets the job in Moscow? Oh, here is not get the job, it's get lost. Oh my God, I don't know. If Marina doesn't get lost coming here, and number seven, where will he live if he gets the job in Moscow? It's so, so small, yeah. And number eight, if she didn't have to look after her mother, simple past, she would enjoy life more. Then, here you have the corrections. You could pause the video and take notes. And here you have a recommendation. Next Wednesday, we'll arrange speaking class, not video. You have to work on. All the best skills I send you to get ready for your exam. I prepared you, well, I'm going to explain it later on. Then, writing about environment, I, I explain it at the beginning of the video. In two weeks' time, please, Word or PDF format. And I'm going to attach all the vocabulary regarding the environment by mail, as well as the phrase or verb corrections. Hmm? And now, then, I'm going to explain what I'm going to send you now. Now, well, 
I prepare you now. Here we are. I prepare you. I'm going to send you now. Uh, it I. The heading could be all pet uh, skills. I'm explaining to you step by step every skill you have to deal with in the exam. Different part of the reading, writing, speaking. Moreover, I'm attaching you listening with the track, and you can listen to it and do it. Why? Because it's time we are starting. We have just started the third term. Then it's time to take into account what do I have to do in the exam. Yeah, part by part. Then you have explanation, task to do, and the listening. Why? Because then you can go on practicing, and moreover, we'll get ready. Because I will tell you, well, prepare this part for the this week or the other week. Then this handout is very important for the following uh, sessions. Then, please, as I told you before, this week, Wednesday, we arrange groups and a kind of timetable to be in contact by means of uh, Skype or Hangouts. We can arrange that. Then we'll start the speaking sessions. Uh, go on studying. And I think that all the material, all the worksheets I'm sending you are going to help you in order to pass your uh, preliminary English test exam. See you, see you, well, virtually, online, next Monday and some people next Wednesday for the speaking. Bye-bye.